You're starting with intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. So someone is reminiscing about the intimacy with another person in January. Thinking about those pleasurable moments, I should say. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Could be another Earth sign. Um, did you have a little fling with someone? at your work or at school hmm. or someone maybe a little kiss so when I say you know yeah it says sexual chemistry it doesn't mean that actually we're doing anything it just means like there's a strong attraction there's reminiscing about that sexual chemistry there's a desire to be together um, this is somebody that you have some kind of work connection with I'm seeing here um, either part of your career, what you do for a living, it could be a customer, a client, um, it could be a student, and I hope they're over 18, and um, it could be the parent of a student, but there is someone who sits, and we'll see if we can find out who it is, but there is someone who sits here who is thinking about you and is hoping that you are going to come their way or approach them okay yeah they're hoping you're gonna take a risk act the fool and make some kind of an offer or um make some kind of move right some kind of move um they think you're taking a really long time <laughs> okay and maybe rightfully so because if it's a professional setting yeah, you, you don't want to screw up your job, right? If you work with this person or there's a connection there, let me see. I'm picking up some travel energy too. Now, if it's not a job situation, um, I do feel like there is someone that if you've had a romantic connection with before where you had a physical intimate relationship, um, this person's um, in, in, all, in due time, it's just a matter of time. When the time is right, this person's coming in to make some kind of um real offer and when i say real offer um i'm not talking so much about just the love and the emotions we're talking about like a real offer like moving in together or tying the knot um step putting roots down somewhere financially building something together yeah and i feel like this is coming and it's all, um, they're just saying it, it, it's the right time. So we do have Aquarius and there is Sagittarius. So you have a connection with that person. That That's an energy there. Let me see. Um, now this is for January, but now they're just telling me, they're giving me the month of March. So I'm not sure if that is the sign, um, Aries or Pisces that you have a connection with, or there's this energy is going, going to actually... Like it will happen in March. Um, I just did a reading about moving in together or a change of residence. So you might want to go back and listen to that because this could be related to that a little bit. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. Relocation. Yeah, 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 yeah. This might be. Listen, somebody's coming out of their comfort zone. Somebody wants to be with you. Or have you come where they are if you have a kid or a grandchild or three or ten or whatever they don't care I feel like this person um, they're they're kind of like looking out at the distance and that's all they can think about is the chemistry that you guys have and they also think that there's a compatibility um, but with the temperance here I do feel like it's just kind of not just yet like right now it can't happen due to maybe other issues other external um obstacles but in all in good time i feel like there's going to be like a huge shift that happens and it's all based on um <laughs> the way this person's just thinking about you uh, and that and i don't know kissing you or hugging or holding you or just all of that i feel and uh, virgo do you want this too with this person you might but it, it's definitely there on the table for january um, let's see here. There's the two of cups. 
Yep. And the Three of Cups. Okay. Virgo, there is definitely reminiscing. There's a reunion for sure with someone. It could be with, a, it's a soulmate. Or it's someone that you got, you guys are on the same page. 100% you're on the same page. Look at the Two of Cups. That right there is like your equals. It's not just the, the, the sexual intimacy, but um, like you, you kind of match each other. You match each other's energy. You're in alignment. And it's just a matter of time before you guys start on this journey of new love here and have so much to celebrate. Uh, they're just giving me the number 23. So something could be happening on the 23rd. It could be your birthday. You're born on the 23rd. Or it could be theirs. 23 is significant, they're saying. Let me see. January 23rd is a Tuesday. It's funny because I always say, life hits you on a Tuesday afternoon when you least expect it. That I'm going to make a mug. <laughs> Put that slogan, that, that slogan on there because that, that's been my experience for life. When you least expect it, Tuesday, nobody, Tuesday afternoon is like a dead, that's a dud. Nothing happens on a Tuesday afternoon ever. But I feel, <laughs> I just feel like there's something about a Tuesday afternoon. Um, like it's, this whole thing is just going to be like, pow, like what? Whoa. Now, it's not a surprise, but with the fool, it is kind of like, you know, a risk adventurous new beginning kind of thing happening here so yeah there's a connection definitely um tell virgo who this could be oh 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 and it's so funny because you keep showing up in your readings like ever i think almost these past four so for some of you um virgo taurus capricorn you have this connection with and they could have that in their chart anywhere it doesn't have to be the sun you also have the emperor um for some of you girls, this be your daddy. <laughs> Not your real dad. Ew, you perv. That's gross. Ew, go away. This could be your baby daddy. <laughs> or just your daddy. Like your your you know, this you call them you call them you call your person daddy or mommy. I don't know. <laughs> We're getting a little fetish here. So um this is your king or your queen for sure that yeah absolutely okay so what's going on here <laughs> it's not happening just yet i will tell you that but i just kind of feel like all of 2024 is just going to be so much love energy all right yeah it's not time why because there's restrictions here okay um someone's unable to move just yet they can't they want to they will be but they're not able or you're not able, okay? Could be you, could be both of you. The timing is just not right. There's restrictions, okay? There could be mental restrictions. There's um, maybe a lack of communication or a sense of feeling like um, it's just an energy. of like, oh, it doesn't feel like right now is a good time to do it, to, to, to come together, okay? But like I said, I don't know, Virgo, are you thinking about this person? Do you have intimate thoughts? Are you reminiscing about this person? You could be. You could be hoping someone's going to make a return. I see that. It could be an Aries. Um, or, yeah, 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 two of wands. Um, you might not be, though. For, um, they're just saying, for some of you, you're not feeling this at all. But in towards the end of January, the energy hits you. It does. It comes. There's that, all of a sudden, something just, you know how, like, sometimes you just out of the blue. And if you feel that, like, there's, it's not a trigger. I don't feel like you get triggered by anything. You just feel a presence. I, it's just very overwhelming and powerful. Um, a, a memory comes up. The reminiscing. And the reminiscing is um, equivalent of the Six of Cups. So this could be with a past person or someone whom you had um, an intimate type of feeling and or relationship with from however long ago. Could, could have been in your childhood. Uh, someone that, you know, you, you were with or you, you had that feeling with. And then for some of you, this is just, you guys went on with separate lives and, and here you are kind of showing up. It could be someone who's a friend of your father's or your older brother. Two, I'm just hearing. Okay, that's pretty specific, so that won't resonate. There you go. 
there you go there you go that's what i was saying there you go it's almost like i called the card out of the deck six of cups i mean there's definitely a reunion happening in january for sure now is there going to be action taken on your part i don't know you might you might not that's you know you got to make that decision but i definitely feel this energy playing out here in january for you okay um doesn't mean you have to like it right i'm just giving the message so you might just be like oh no do not bring this around me again um you know and if that's the case listen your thoughts aren't in control of you you're in control of your thoughts and your feelings you can't choose your thoughts you can't choose your feelings but you can choose what to do with them so if that's the case just because i'm giving you the message doesn't mean that it's written in stone you can turn around and be like no house of virgo i hear what you're saying thank you for the reading i'm not going in that direction hey that's perfectly fine with me i'm happy you just watched clicked on the video please do put a like on the video even if you don't like it like it anyway even if you just don't agree with it and it doesn't resonate for you um hit a like anyway because maybe it'll help somebody else right and actually it'll help me get the videos up and out and the algorithms like holla tweaking so okay now that we've gotten that out of the way let's take a look at your energy oh yeah the pains it comes eh. i've missed you i'm ready to <laughs> next time we're together can we use that <laughs> I can't with these readings. Sometimes they're just too funny. Um, Virgo, I feel like if there's any apologies, they'll get said. <clears throat> if there's any sweet love text messages, phone calls, or anything like that to be had, they will be had. Um, there's definitely a new start. There's definitely a new physical start. If that's something that you want, you know, or can do, whatever, it's up to you. But um, that Five of Cups does give me this... You, you might be missing someone or they're missing you um, or the energy is just flowing back and forth, okay? Um, and I feel like if you, if because you, I was asking about you, so if you're missing someone, you hear from this person, you just be like, boing, everything kind of just, you, 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 it, it's like, this is kind of reminds me of a little bit like, okay, how can I say it? It's the way us tarot readers are, or maybe it's just me. This is kind of like a wilted flower here, and then someone comes and puts water in the soil, and then it's like, boop, you know, you kind of get a little bit of life back in you. <laughs> You're no longer wilted. Yeah, so I feel like that's how that's going to feel when you hear from someone here. Um, there's definitely an intimate, special connection with someone whoever your person is or you know um again i don't feel like it's new if the ace of cups shows up you know the two of cups can be a new love card but the ace of cups didn't come out first so the two of cups can be like kind of like a further down the line is if, if the ace of cups had already happened you might have already met this person and then maybe there was a little time period between you where nothing was going on and then the two of cups comes and it's like okay well now we're going to get started we're going to connect so that's a beautiful thing right that's a beautiful thing so if this is something that you want i hope it happens for you i wish you all the best personal reading link is below in the description box i've just fixed the link because i had it I don't know I wrote in the wrong thing so thanks to everyone who mentioned that to me I was wondering like why isn't anybody booking anything um and you can also get a text message reading from me okay instead of having your phone call instead of having to wait a day or two or whatever you just book it and send make sure you put your phone number in there and make sure that you put your messages in there as well the questions you want to ask five questions and then you know I, I will get that reading I'll respond to it um before even it can be even before the time of that you book your reading all right you guys have a great night i will see you all back here tomorrow love you take care hey guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light-filled life 